Well, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Ole Miss. They have a, they have a very good football team, and uh, our guys played hard. And uh, we had our chances in the fourth quarter again to keep the game close enough to win it. And uh, we had some uh, we had some very unique things happen in the fourth quarter, and we didn't capitalize on what we needed to do when we had some opportunities. Uh, and again, got outscored in the fourth quarter. So. Uh, but our guys fought hard down to the end and uh, never quit. And uh, we'll keep working. Obviously, it's a, it's a tough loss for us. And uh, we've got to find a way to come back next week and, and win our first SEC game. Question. You said some very unique things in the fourth quarter. How important is it for your team that when something happens like the Jeff Scott run, something that's kind of flukish, not let the natives kind of pile upon each other like, like it did? Well, I think right now you're looking at a team that, um, you know, is very disappointed. And, you know, the game was well in hand when that play uh, happened. You know, we're going to third down stop. Uh, we had a chance to get the ball back within, I believe it was seven points at the time. Uh, and so we just can't, you know, we got to keep moving forward. We got to keep moving on. We can't keep looking back at you know, all the things that uh, you know that happened or didn't happen that you know cost us football games. Other than the obvious, going back and trying to make you know, corrections, and but, you know that's that's a perfect example of not finishing plays. You know, we got to finish the play, and you know, he wasn't down, and uh, we got to finish those plays. That's the bottom line. You take the the punt where we exchanged. Uh, they had to punt it. They punted it twice. They got a chance to punt, you know, basically a shank punt for, I don't know, 11, 15 yard gain. And, uh, you know, we make a we make an error, you know, on our uh, punt return team and give them an opportunity to punt it, and then we lose all that field position. So, again, we just uh, we did some things that, again, you can't do in the fourth quarter against a team that offensively is explosive as these guys have been and give them a chance to win the game, and we did. Gene, it looked like. Second quarter, you got three physical running football. Did you get away from that side in the third quarter? Well, I feel like you know we distributed the ball, you know, we ran the ball somewhere around 40 times, and we distributed the ball a little bit more in the first half running it than than, uh, than we did in the second. Uh, which, you know, again, uh, when you're putting eight and nine up around there, uh, then you've got to be able to throw it some. So you know that's what we were doing, and, and they were trying to pressure our run game a good bit. Uh, you know, again, we you know, we still tried to run the ball 15, 16 times. The, the problem is that we had too many three and outs, and uh, you know, so we didn't we didn't really sustain any any drives in the second half. You know, the time of possession is something we wanted to win, certainly early in the game. Um, I think there was a couple of reasons for that. We were making some first downs, we were hitting some plays, we came back from a 14 nothing deficit by driving the ball and running the football. We, uh, we were about where we wanted to be in the time of possession, uh, you know. But you know, again, part of that is that you know that's a fast strike offense as well. So we didn't always play great on defense. I thought our, our tackling was very poor uh, in terms of uh, you know, keeping leverage on a good back. Uh, you know, anytime a team runs for 200 yards on you, uh, that's not very good defense at all. I thought that was the case tonight as well. So I think it was again, it was a total team, total team loss. And again, we kept it close enough in the fourth quarter to win it and get the job done. At this point, the fourth quarter is, is it just hard to explain? You know, just what's going on every week? Yeah, and it's you know, it's different. It's different things. But it, I mean, I say it's different things. It's execution. I mean, that's that's what it is. You know, in the fourth quarter, it's it's, it's execution. And we're not executing at a high level in the fourth quarter. It's just disappointing. Coach, a very young Ole Miss team just seemed to dominate the second half. Did they do anything differently in the second half that, that surprised you? Did they make any adjustments? I think they decided they were going to come back out and run a lot of their misdirection run game that they were having success with early. Uh, and, you know, again, they uh, I thought they did a great job of that. We were either not in position, we were not holding leverage on our on our on the ends of the line of scrimmage, uh, or we're missing tackles, missing tackles, case in point with uh, Jeff Scott there at the end. Um, 
you know, when you give up 200 yards rushing, they, that means they decided to run the ball, and uh, we didn't do a very good job consistently stopping. Them. You said you had to stop looking back and looking forward, but your chance to make it a bowl game or get slimmer and slimmer as the, as the year goes on. What do you have to look forward to? How do you we're, we're, to we're looking forward to the next opportunity to play. We're looking forward to the next opportunity to play. And win a game. That's it. You know, we're taking it one day at a time. And, you know, when you go through the struggles that we're going through right now, it's very difficult. And so our focus is our young guys that we're trying to coach every day. Our goal is to every day grow them so that we can become better football players so that we can win a game. And so we're not looking at seven, eight weeks from now. We're looking at tomorrow and the next day and ultimately the next game. How do you think Clint played his first quarter? You know, I think that Clint did some nice things, particularly early in the game. I thought he gained a little more confidence as everything, you know, went as the game went on, unfolded. You know, again, I think that he did some he did some things. Obviously, the interception at the end there was not what we wanted, uh, but you know, Clint came in there and, and did some good things. You talked about with the Scott play, having to move forward and, and not looking back. How much went right after that play happened? How much did it feel like you know, the momentum was really knocked out of your sails? Well, you know, we came back and you know again our get that was what we didn't do is quit. You know, we, we took the next kickoff. They were scheming us a little bit on kickoff coverage because they didn't want to kick it deep. And so we took the next kick, kickoff down the sideline. Again, had another opportunity to, you know, to make something happen. But, uh, you know, again, uh, just bottom line is you got to keep fighting. I mean, that's it. And I think our kids did that today. I don't think there's any question. They kept fighting all the way down to the end. And, uh, you know, they're going to keep doing that. Feel like you got the offensive identity a little bit more established today. You know, the bottom line is, is we, you know, we know we know we got to run the football. And we know we got to take some shots down the field. Both of those things happen periodically, um, but we just we got to improve. What about to play the, the freshman corners in particular, John Jones's first time getting out there. Uh, you know, you got two two true freshmen out there starting a the corner that are fighting and battling every day. That's the best I can say. You know? proud of those guys for being in games like this. You know, you're playing against probably one of the best receivers in the league. You know, and he had a couple of you know, he had a couple of plays, but I've seen him, you know, play in a lot of other games and have a lot more plays, you know. So those young guys they went out there and they battled and they scrapped and you know they fought. And uh, they'll learn as you know they'll learn as time goes on. Uh, how well they played or whatnot I can I can't tell you right now. Uh, but I know they played hard know that it was you know, a game that was very challenging for you if you're a corner. And so you know, I, was, I was proud of both of those guys. Time for a few more. Is the quarterback position still open for evaluation in, in competition? We'll, we'll go back and look at the film. You know, I'm not, I'm not really ready to say one way or the other. You know, I thought Clint did some nice things today. Uh, we'll go back and look and just, you know, we got to really evaluate what happened today. And, you know, we'll we'll know more tomorrow. But you know, again, I'm gonna go back and say that I thought Clint did some nice things today. You know, it was the start. You know, again, it wasn't perfect. Maybe it was any other position on the field. So uh, we'll have to go back and reevaluate it. Can you talk? Sorry. Can you talk about not letting outside distractions? How do you go back to the team after this and all the talk that's already started? And some things. How do you keep them from paying attention to some of the outside chatter? Well, it's hard. You know, it's hard for them not to. I'm not gonna sit here and put my head in the sand and act like it's not. But the bottom line is is that we're doing our best jobs as coaches to keep this team unified and to keep this team working. And, uh, you know what? It's a challenge right now for everybody in our room, coaches and players. This won't be the first challenge they've had in their life, and it certainly won't be the last. So we're going to continue to move on. Uh, that's not an option. We're going to continue to move forward. Continue to try to tackle some of the challenges right now. Continue to try to improve to win a game. And that's as simple as I can make it, and that's as honest as I can make it from my heart. And that's what we're going to do, starting with me.